very aware of that, Mr. Hoover. What I do know is he's nonviolent. What I need to know right now, what's Martin Luther King about to do next? Mr. President, Dr. King is here. Lyndon B. Johnson plays a prominent role in the film Selma, but some historians are disputing the portrayal of the 36th president. That's because in Selma, LBJ is depicted as reluctant and unwilling to aid MLK in his pursuit of civil rights reform. Mark K. Updegro, director of the LBJ Presidential Library and Museum, told Politico earlier in December, the film bastardizes one of the most hallowed chapters in the civil rights movement by suggesting the president himself stood in the way of progress. Four days later, a former top assistant for domestic affairs for LBJ argued a similar point at the Washington Post, pointing to archival records where the president seems to come up with the idea of Selma. If you can find the worst condition that you run into in Alabama, Mississippi, uh, or Louisiana, or South Carolina, and if you just take that one illustration and get it on radio and get it on television, get it every place you can, uh, pretty soon, the, the fellow that didn't do anything but follow, drive a tractor, he'll say, well, that's not right. So it seems like a pretty clear-cut case here. LBJ and MLK were on the same page in 1965, not at odds with each other. Except the movie's director, Ava DuVernay, says not so fast. On Twitter, DuVernay said the notion that Selma was LBJ's idea is jaw-dropping and offensive, and that folks should interrogate history for themselves. She also points to a 2013 piece from The New Yorker where Johnson is essentially depicted as he is in Selma, initially putting the war on poverty first and voting reform second. And speaking to The New York Times, a professor says the movie accurately depicts how Selma pushed Johnson to act more quickly than he thought was possible in initiating voting reform. There are arguments for both sides, but ultimately voting reform did happen, so the story isn't just about MLK or Johnson. That's probably why another professor told The Times, quote, in historical truth, the story was really about everybody. For Newsy, I'm Catherine Beek.